Hi guys, today we want to talk to you guys about what's possible in this business. And I wanted to start by telling you a little bit about my story and why I joined as a coach uh, last July. So I had left a really stressful, high paying job and was home with my daughter for probably five or six months without a plan or really any hope for the future. And it came to a point in our little family where I knew I was gonna either have to go back to work or find something that was gonna keep me home with my daughter and help us financially. So I met with my upline, my now upline coach, Paige Casto, and um, talked about my fears and my questions about this business. Could I really be successful and not be a salesperson? Could this really work for me? Could the stories that I was, you know, watching on YouTube really, could that really be possible? And, you know, I thought, why not me? If all of these people can do this, it shows me that it's possible. And I couldn't stop thinking about the business. And I just decided I had to go for it and give it a shot. And so we want you guys to know that the same goes for you. This is possible. You've seen people do it, and we want you to know that that just means that you can do it. So the first thing we want you guys to do today is to write down 10 goals for this year. Whether that's financial, whether you want to travel, pay off debt, whatever it is, 10 goals for this year. And then second thing we want you to do is write down your why. Why it's important for you to succeed in this business. Why you joined. Um, really connect with that so that you have that driving you each day that you're working your business. And the third thing we want you to write down is the time that you're willing to commit daily to your business. That's important to define and we want you guys to share that with us and with your upline coaches. That is going to help us understand how to help lead you best. If you're going to give an hour a day because you want this to be something big three years from now, that's good for us to know so that we know how to lead you in order to reach those goals. So those are your three things. And when I started to really work from those ideas, my business just exploded, you guys. I started to do all of the things that we're going to mention in this training from working from a daily list or a power hour, plugging into personal development, getting my workouts in and drinking Shakeology daily, and meeting new people and building relationships. That's what this business is about. My first paycheck was 60 bucks and I was so excited. My second was 300 bucks and I remember I was just sold. Uh, it took me a month to go Emerald. I didn't really feel comfortable signing up my spouse at the time, and so it just kind of happened organically. And a month after that, I hit diamond. So you can start this business slow and then kick it into high gear when you're ready. Uh, at that time, I went diamond. I think I was averaging 250 or 300 bucks a week. That was two months in, and that was plenty for me to feel like this was an opportunity that I had to share with people. Now, six months in, I was averaging about 800 bucks a week. And if you ask me, that is... I mean, that's incredible. That was more than I was ever making years and years of waiting tables, working late at night. And I was doing it from home, doing something that made me feel good. So we want you guys to know that you can do that and you can do more than that. It's whatever you set your mind to. There's so much training for you guys to plug into and meetings for you to get on. The sky is the limit, seriously. And we want you to know that if you're seeing that it's possible for others, it's possible for you. We would recommend that you guys start to invest one to two hours a day on your business right now when it's new. And you might find that that's not enough or it's too much for your comfort level right now. But that's a good goal. If you've kind of got your sights on that, you know, $1,000 a week at a year in, you need to be finding the time, whether it's getting up early, working on your lunch break, you know, not taking naps, not doing certain things late at night. You know, I come home, have time with my family, and then when my daughter goes to sleep, I'm going to plug into an hour or two of returning messages and going through my power hour list again that day. So you really just have to find the time and find what's going to work for you and know that what you invest is what you're going to get back in this business. So if you want a business that's a $1,000 a week business, you're going to have to put in the time and invest the time to build that. It's not just going to happen. And that's what's great about this business is it's not, you know, a get rich quick scheme. You really have to work, but it can be whatever you want it to be. If you're just consistent and you are in touch with why you're doing this, then 
you're going to see great things happen in your business, guys. So I'm going to recap the homework that we gave. So a list of 10 goals for the year that you'd like to achieve your why, why you started this business, and why it's important for you to succeed and reach those goals, and the time you're willing to invest in your business today. Get those down, get them to us and your upline coach, and we will see you on our next training.